Hello guys, it's Eridos12, and today we're going to be focusing on a class GUI. So in Star Wars Silverfront, there's going to be a class GUI with four different classes, which are in two different teams, or maybe their own team. Droids, Clones, Jedi, and Sith. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, see here, I have a screen GUI, right? So I insert a frame. A force field of frame and then the frame is right here so if you want to make the frame different than what I'm doing you can but let me just show you how you would do that 0 0.25 in fact let me make that 4 5 no 3 5 3 5 and you want to get it to 0 0.65 so we're going to, have to do Scale. Now, when you scale things, it's much easier to use scale. Always use scale whenever possible. Because if you use offset, it's not going to look too good on a mobile phone. It's not even going to look too good on a console. And it's not going to look too good on a computer either. Depending on how many GUIs you have. So, I would do 0. 0.35. Zero point two five, and then we would make this hundred go down a whole lot. So then we would do zero point three five. Yeah, just like that. And then the next thing you would do is zero for this for the y. You would do zero point four. No. How about zero point six? Perfect. That's how we want it. Now we're going to position it down with scale as well. So 0 0.25. Okay, it looks like it's in the center. Great. Now, here's how I'm going to style the frame. Either I could use a style here, or I could do something different with it. I'm going to do something different with it. I'm going to make the background color maybe. Hmm, maybe just this color. And then we choose that color, right? We're going to make the transparency 0 0.25. Perfect. Now it looks great, this part. Now we need to get inside of the frame and actually insert the classes. Insert the classes. So that would be a text button. So the name of the text button would be, um, hmm, oh, text button should be called, no wait, no text button, no text button. Instead, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a frame, not a frame, but I'm going to create two things, a frame and a text label. So I create a text label first, and then a frame. So the text label has to be 0 0.1, I believe, or 0 0.2. Possibly 0 0.2, who knows. But it's just how I should do the text label. The text, a text label should be called title. So then I would do size 0 0.1, actually 1, 0, comma, 0 0.2, 0. Now, actually, let me make this 0 0.1, just to be on the safe side. No, 0 0.15. There, perfect. Now, here's what you have to do to make this title visible. You do source sans bold. Keep it at size 14, but then you want to make it text scaled. Now, the next thing you want to do here is this. You want to call it choose a class. And then we can make the text 
color red for sure. And then if you do that, it looks good. Turn it around. Now for the frame. Inside the frame, we're going to rename this frame to classes. And classes is going to be a very special frame. That's where you hold all the class buttons. And it could be used to hold other things as well. Use the whole other things as well. Anyways, here's what we can do. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the size and I'm going to go 0 0.1. Actually, wait. 1, 0, comma, 0 0.9, 0. Perfect. Now, here's what we have to do next. Position this at 0 0.1. No, not, not like that, no. 0 0.1. Perfect. It looks great. And in fact, actually, let's do 0 0.85 since the size is smaller. Yeah, it's better to do that than nothing. Perfect. It looks just that great. Now, here's the next thing we have to do. Take this, the classes, and we're going to actually make the color different. So the background color should be at least, let me say, maybe a solid green. It may look festive, but it's not really that festive, it's just contemporary. Anyways, let me just do a text button, and the text button should be just like that, except here's the catch. We have to also make that text button 0 0.15. 0 0.15, wait, 1, 0, 0 0.15, 0, and what we do next is, is that this button right here is going to be for the Jedi. So I'm going to call it Jedi. Make sure it's in caps if you want to do this one because we, we will be scripting we will require that. We could use a module script and also to define it as well, but we didn't put that in the kit. So, yeah. This is basically what we have here. Like, right here is the kit for all the stuff that we're going to be working on in terms of building the Clone Trooper edition of the game. Where you become a Clone Trooper, right? But the Clone Trooper gets different weapons, different HUDs, all that stuff. We might do a Let's Play of Phantom Forces because that's what it's going to be like, Phantom Forces. You'll also be able to buy with Robux some more ammunition if you run out. It will be saved in a data store, so be very careful and very wise when you use a DC-15 a blaster or any blaster of any type, because they do run out quickly. Unless it's a DL-44, then that has an unlimited bullets, but that has to be bought with Robux or with the Game Pass. Anyways, back to what we were doing. Jedi. And then the next thing you can do is see text scaled okay that looks good but I want to make sure it's capitalized and make sure it's source sans bold you don't have to do it like mine now the next thing you want to do is you want to color code the buttons color coding the buttons helps Jedi should be blue since they are Jedi you know and the next thing you should do is you should make the text color white. And then the text stroke color should stroke transparency, I mean, should be zero, making it look this good. Now, uh, let me just duplicate the button. 
And the next thing you'll have is Sith. Now the Sith are not going to be activated just yet. They're going to be deactivated until we actually make the Sith um, course. But there will be a Battle Droid course, which is actually quite free. It's it's not free, but it's like, let me say, free of any sort of course. And like the course is much more abstract than, you know, the Jedi course. The Jedi course is just a straight track. Anyways, back to what we were doing. 0 0.15 for this. In fact, maybe we'll just focus on the GUI today. The scripting part we will get to next tutorial. Which could be this afternoon, it could be any time. You know. And now you have something that actually looks great. So now duplicate that button again, and this time we're going to change the background color to blue. Pure blue. Now take it down to 0 0.3. Actually, wait, that's too much. Yeah, 0 0.3. 3, 1. Actually, just 0 0.3. Just 0 0.3 is fine. Excuse me, sorry. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to take this one and you want to turn it into Clone Trooper. Or whatever the third class is that you want, you can change the color, anything. But just make sure that you make the third class much different than the second and the first. Trooper. I'm going to call mine Clone Trooper since it's a Clone Trooper. So now... Since this one is blue, we're representing the Grand Army of the Republic, it's going to be called Clone Trooper. Perfect! And now you've got yourself a class, right? But then the next thing, the last thing you want to do is you want to make this into the last one, the other evil one. Basically, all of these have teams, but they have allies. Like each one has a very special ally. For example, this one right here is not supposed to be a clone trooper, so we're going to move it down to 0 0.45. And ironically, coincidentally, it's actually um, the fourth one, but it has 0 0.45 on it. Perfect. Now, we're going to change this one to Battle Droid. And then once we change it to Battle Droid, we're going to take it, and we're going to call this one Battle Droid. Okay, guys. There you have it. A Class GUI. Now, that's all we can do for today, since there's not much time left. But, I hope you enjoyed it. And this is basically how to make the GUI part. The next tutorial, I will be going over scripting the class GUI. So, that's all, folks. Cheers.